Cycling is one of the best aerobic workouts for people of all fitness levels. Cycling has many benefits. In this video, I'll tell you what will happen to your body if you cycle every day. So, watch the video until the end. It will be interesting. What muscles do cycle work? Cycling engages the entire lower body without putting too much stress on the joints. Cycling will strengthen the back of the thighs, quadriceps, shins, and buttocks. In addition, cycling is also a great workout for the core muscles, because you have to keep the body in the right position, and then you can't do without strong abs and back. They provide you with comfort while riding, and, of course, the more you ride, the stronger they become. What happens to your body when you cycle every day? Number 1. Burn Fat Intense cycling is great for burning fat, which will make you look leaner. Cycling speeds up metabolism and helps build muscle. All this will allow you to burn more calories even during rest. For one hour of cycling, you'll burn about 500 kilocalories of energy. Every 500 kilocalories are about 55 grams of fat. If you cycle every day for one hour, then in a month you can burn about 1600 grams of fat. Number 2. Build Stamina Cycling greatly increases stamina. Thanks to regular cycling, you increase the overall endurance of the body. You feel more fresh, more active, and stronger. It's easier to endure stress during the working day, and your emotional background stabilizes. Among other things, the endurance of the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, and, of course, muscle endurance increases. Number 3. Improve Cardiovascular System The cardio load provided by cycling helps to strengthen the heart muscle, increase vascular tone, reduce the level of bad, and increase the level of good cholesterol. This greatly reduces the risk of heart disease. Cycling as a whole makes blood circulation more rational and efficient. In people who regularly ride a bicycle, the heart switches to a more reasonable mode of operation, thanks to which the resource of the heart is saved, its premature wear and tear, and the onset of all kinds of heart diseases are prevented. Number 4. Improve Lung Capacity When cycling, the lungs work much more actively than usual during long, at least for an hour. Cycling, the lungs of a person work almost to the maximum, thanks to forced ventilation, the lungs are more quickly released from toxic substances, which are in abundance in almost any modern city. At the same time, of course, you should try to lay your route closer to nature and away from busy roads. Number 5. Improve Balance By constantly stabilizing your body while cycling, you improve your sense of balance, coordination, and posture. All this will be useful to you in everyday life to avoid falls and related injuries. Number 6. Normalize Mental Health Cycling helps reduce stress, depression, and anxiety. In addition, during such an activity, you need to follow the road, which allows you to develop concentration and teaches you to focus on what's happening. All this will help you to take your mind off the events of the day. So, if you're feeling frustrated or sad, Go on a bike ride for at least 10 minutes even that is enough to get a boost of endorphins and reduce stress. Number 7. Boost Brain and Memory Cycling increases the flow of blood and oxygen to the brain, which activates and restores the receptors and promotes the creation of new brain cells in the hippocampus, the area that is responsible for memory. In addition, authors, musicians, artists, executives, and many other professionals use cycling to switch and stimulate creative thinking. Indeed, due to the increased flow of oxygen to the brain, neural activity is activated. Number 8. Improve Skin Health Regular cycling helps slow down skin aging. This is because increased blood circulation delivers oxygen and nutrients to skin cells more efficiently while removing harmful toxins. Cycling also creates ideal conditions for the production of collagen, which in turn helps reduce the appearance of wrinkles. By the way, when did you cycle last time to gain maximum fitness level? Let us know in the comments below.